So here we are in quizzes in my library. I'm going to grab one of these quizzes that I put together. Um, in this one, I did assign a certain point value to each question. And I'm going to start this as a live quiz, classic, classic mode, and I'm going to make it a test. And when I do that, I have the option of focus mode, which will tell me when a student leaves the quiz because it's going to open as a full screen. Uh, some of the other settings, I do turn off the showing answers stuff. I turn off the timer. I allow them to skip and answer a question later. They can't go back to previous questions, but if they skip one, it will show up again at the end and give them a chance to answer it. Um, I don't shuffle the questions, but I will shuffle the answer options. Great. Continue. This is going to open up the quiz and give me a code, which I'll enter on my phone here so you can see what happens when a student joins. They will, they will only have one button, which says start in full screen mode. So I'm going to do that. You'll see me there and we'll start the quiz. Great. So I'm getting a little countdown. It tells you how many questions I have answered. Right now, that's zero out of seven. Uh, I'm going to submit an answer right now. Great. And now it's one out of seven, right? So as students go through, if you have a full class of them, you'll be able to see how many questions each person has answered. If someone has only answered two and question the quiz is almost over, maybe let them know. Um, and then if a student like me wants to cheat on this second one, I'm going to head out of it. Ooh, this person left focus mode. Big alert. Uh-oh. So now I know exactly who I need to look at, catch up to, and say what's going on. If I know why they left it, if, like, they, oh, my computer died. Okay, that's why they left. Great. I can dismiss the alert. That's fine. Um, and then when I go back in, back to full screen, and it tells you again, like, hey, they did spend time outside of it. Great. So that is kind of how that works. And then if I end this test, yep, let's just kill that. And I go to all of my quizzes reports for all of the um, assessments I've done in here. This is the one I did two minutes ago, right? If I open that up, I can see when I click a student's name that there was off task activity. And I can see that it was for 24, 25 seconds that person was outside. So that's how long on my phone I was outside of the test. Um, so that gives you a full report, right? Where were the students if they were outside of it? Now we know. So very useful, very powerful tool um, and uh, could be pretty useful if you have to use a digital assessment. Um, so I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.